Welcome to today's meeting of the Liars Club. If you don't know what this object is or what it is used for, well, settle back. The tall tales from our celebrity panel are about to begin. First, we'd like you to welcome one of America's great storytellers and president of the Liars Club, Rod Serling. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, and welcome to the Liars Club, and I'd like you to meet some of the biggest liars in town, our panel. First, theater movie critic, Mr. Rolf Peterson. <laughs> One of our resident liars, lovely Miss Betty White. <laughs> Featured as Jaime the Robot on Get Smart, Mr. Dick Gautier. And ABC News reporter, also lovely Miss Pia Lindstrom. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's meet our contestants. They are Barbara Shermer, a housewife from Los Angeles, and her opponent, Mr. Bob Hansen, a student from Lomita. Welcome aboard, friends. Now, our panel of liars know the exact description of each of our objects, but they'll tell different stories about them. And it'll be up to you and to our two lie detectors over here to discover which liar is trying to be honest for a change. And the player who recognizes the truth the most number of times will receive $100. And incidentally, contestants, I've seen none of these things. I'm going to play right along with you. I'm totally in the dark. That's my best spot, right? In the middle of the dark there. And our first object is in front of Pia Lindstrom. Pia, yes. tell us what that oh, is. Oh, I recognize it immediately. Of course, they got it upside down, really. But it goes this way, actually. But it doesn't stand that way so well, so I'll leave it this way. This comes from San Francisco's Playland at the Beach, which is an amusement park that was started around 1890. And they had there one of the first, in this area, merry-go-rounds with hand-carved animals that go around. But they didn't use horses. They had pigs and roosters and sheep and other kind of things people like to pigs? ride better than horses. Yes. No. <laughs> okay. So most people don't like to ride horses. These you are, like to ride rabbits. pigs. All right. Pig, r pigs are very popular. And to make this, they're carved by Roper Fisher Hansen, who came to this country uh, from Belgium, and he, they're hand carved. And this happens to be one of the gears the drives the pigs and the rabbits around. Listen, that, that'd that drive anyone Here around. On, on, on an old merry-go-round. Well, that's a charming All story, right, unfortunately. <laughs> no, it's, uh, no, I've been up to San Francisco. I used to hang around the merry-go-round myself up there. <laughs> Made a lot of nice kids. No, actually, what, what this is, this is something else. This has nothing to do with this. This is a ratchet gear here. It twists this like this, and it rolls over, and what it does in the dough, it makes tortillas. <laughs> they fit in there. It makes the tortilla, then you take, and you put in the stuff, and you eat all that schlong and that slime, and, ah, and then you puke, and then you're OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Betty White. The Jewish tor tortilla. <laughs> well, I, I, don't, I don't do dialects, but it's the tortilla thing. Cut no, her, I tell you, the only thing that Pia said with that, that piggest lie of all was, was that it is right. It does go this way, but it's used in oil rigging. And, you know, on the oil rigs, they have to sample the, the dirt, first of all, or, the, or the, the strata, various strata underneath. So this goes on the end of another gear and another whole thing that is driven down in the, in the center of the well, and it goes way, way down, and it twists and kind of bores all the way down. And it brings back samples that they can then analyze and find out what the best place to drill is. Oh, that's oh. very heavy. <laughs> All right, well, Peter. Ugly stories for a thing that produces a beautiful sound. This is the, the heart of the low notes on one of the ancient theater Wurlitzers, the mighty Wurlitzers that used to play on Saturday afternoon, how well I remember them. <laughs> this was geared so that it would revolve inside the biggest of the pipes on a, the old-fashioned pipe organ, and it caused the vibrato in those low notes. This, uh, I don't know how the aerodynamics work, but the sound was influenced by this revolving device and the holes and so on, and the air under <laughs> pressure would go through there. Get the vibrato on the low notes in the mighty Wurlitzer. What time is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Mighty Wurlitzer? Okay, Barbara and Bob, I'll recap what our panel of liars have maintained is the truth. Ralph tells us that this is part of a Wurlitzer organ. Betty uh, describes it as being a portion of an oil rig used in drilling. Dick says it's a tortilla maker. <laughs> and Pia tells us that uh, this is part of the gears that drive pigs and rabbits around in the San Francisco <laughs> something or other. 
And uh, Barbara, I'm going to let you begin first by picking out who you think is the honest person over there, if indeed there is such a breed. I really have no idea. All right, my dear. But, <laughs> uh, you say we just go out and dance. We'll come back later. All right? Um, I think Mr. Peterson. You go with uh -huh. Mr. Peterson, huh? Many, many people do, you know. <laughs> Mr. Sincere. We don't mention that to his wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bob, what about you? Well, I, I think Ralph's a very convincing liar. I'll go with Ralph. You both go with him. And Ralph. I have good taste in sport coats, too, Bob. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know, Ralph, you're very fortunate you're males attired alike because when women come on a panel and discover they're wearing the same dress, <laughs> there are four hours of hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> I'm the same way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Barbara and Bob, you both go along with Ralph who tells us that this is a portion of a, of a Wurlitzer organ. And Jim Isaacs is going to tell us what it is. The Mission Tortilla Company states that this is a tortilla cutter. <laughs> So, Barbara and Bob, you're tied up zip zip, and I know we're going to have trouble with that guy. I can tell it now. We're going to be right back for more of the Liars Club after this message.